I'm Jim Todd from RW Beckett, and this video is showing you how to set up a Genesis control using the contractor's tool. This video training is designed for a skilled technician showing how to use a Beckett Genesis contractor's tool to program a Genesis oil control. The viewer should be able to find the communication ports on a Genesis 7505 or 7575 and understand the reasons for changing the programming. Genesis controls are designed to provide the technician with a universal primary control that has enhanced capabilities. The enhancements allow the technician to program the control for various applications as well as observing burner operation in real time and review the last 15 cycle history. All these features are only accessible to the trained professional with a contractor's tool. This video is designed for a trained, skilled technician. The technician should be familiar with modern burner operation. Do not attempt any of these steps if you are not a trained technician. Personal and property damage, including fire loss, could be the result if you are not pr properly trained. With a Genesis mounted on a burner, the technician should be able to locate each communication port. There are two communication ports on a Genesis control. COM port 1 and COM port 2. We are going to use COM port 1 for this video. The plug on a Genesis contractor's tool is directional. There is the word up located here. We will take the contractor's tool, plug it into COM port 1, and when we do, you will see that it will display the burner status as we're working with right now. If I take and push the next button. The screen will change to view history. If I hit select, I can select the last cycles on the burner. I can see the lifetime cycles on the burner. If selected, I can go into the time since cleared cycles and the time since cleared hours of operation. What I'm going to do now is show you how to program the control. To do that, we're going to hit the next button and we're going to hit and hold that until the screen changes to pre-time. That should be after three seconds. Presently, this control is programmed for 15 seconds. If I want to change the timing on it, I will hit the select button to change. Once I've done that, the screen comes up with pre-time the time that it was programmed for, the word yes, the word no, and two arrows. In this case, I'm going to take the 15 seconds away as though I was using a burner without a valve. So I'm going to drop it back down to zero seconds. When I get to zero seconds, I hit yes. It will ask me if I want to accept. I will hit yes again. If I want to change from this screen back to 15 seconds, I will follow the same steps and I will hit select. When I hit select, it's going to ask me if a valve is installed. If I say no, it will say valve needed, CINO manual, change canceled. We do that so that you stay safe. If I hit yes, is a valve installed, I will hit yes. Now I can scroll through and reprogram this. So now I have it programmed for 30 seconds pre-time. I'm going to move it back 1 to 15 seconds, hit yes to accept, and hit yes again. To go to the post time in the applications that need burner motor off delay, I will hit the next button and it goes to post time. Presently, the post time is programmed for 15 seconds. What I'm going to do is hit select, and I'm going to show you that I can go from 15 and work my way all the way up to eight minutes, giving me plenty of time to purge those combustion gases out of that appliance. For this application, I'm going to move it back down to a 30 second post time by moving the arrows accordingly. I'm on 30 seconds. 
I will hit select or yes and then I will hit yes again to accept it and I have programmed the control. This control will tell you the programming and it will keep the programming even if the power is off for an extended period of time. Technical service help for properly trained technicians can be obtained from Beckett Technical Service by calling our toll-free number at 1-800-645-2876 or by consulting www.beckettcorp.com on the web. Our website will list training opportunities as well as product information. Thank you for watching this video today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content in the future.